Oh, I'm so bored. I really would love to paint something for my YouTube channel, but I just can't think of any ideas. Mm, I wish something would come to me. Anything. Wait. I think I have an idea. Welcome back people, this is Dark Raids. My name is Joshua Dow and I'm an artist. And I just solved this Rubik's Cube. Yeah, not actually, not quite. I don't actually know how to uh, solve a Rubik's Cube, but a genius way I thought of on how to fool people into thinking that I am capable of doing it is to just take off all the stickers and uh, repaint it myself. So that's exactly what we'll be doing in this video. I have to start by taking off all the stickers because I don't want to paint on top of them. Now I have to sand off the sides so they're easier to paint on. And now let's start painting the sides. No, no, that's not what we're using it for. I'm putting on layer on top of layer on top of layer of paint here to make it really opaque and uh, in between I'm using the bow dryer to dry it off quickly so I don't have to wait ages. Once all the layers on the cube sides are painted, I am putting on a layer of fixative to just kind of seal it off and give me a better layer to uh, go on to the next step, which is sketches. Doing the base sketches for what I'm going to be painting on all the different sides and yeah, what is it that I'm going to be painting? So I actually hopped onto Instagram to figure out what I wanted to do uh, to see if there were any cool suggestions and Cameron London said to paint some rappers and he's actually a rapper himself so go check him out, um, he, his stuff is really good. I went with his idea and selected six rappers that I really like, uh, they're all a bit more of a, the newer generation or the, or the old school rappers because I feel like I've painted them or drawn them enough in my career as an artist. So the six rappers that I selected to paint are all a bit newer and probably a bit less well known for people who are not that much into hip hop. So let me know in the comments if you recognize any of them from my paintings before I reveal who they are. Painting this very first painting, I am quickly realizing that this is not an easy task and maybe it was a bit of a stupid idea because I chose to paint probably the smallest painting I've ever done and definitely the smallest like realistic style painting I've ever done and I chose to paint like recognizable people, public figures that you want people to see and know that's who it is and yeah, it is not an easy task. The thing about working at this tiny scale is that one small stroke of the brush can completely change a face's shape, it can change the way the lips look, it can change the shape of the beard, it can change the highlight on top of the nose, and all those tiny things are what makes a face recognizable, so this is really really difficult. This third face here in particular, I struggled the most with the likeliness of uh, the original person. As you can tell, or probably won't be able to tell as he looks nothing like the person I'm trying to paint. Don't worry, in the, uh, in the future I will go back and uh, fix it up a little bit. But yeah, this was definitely the most challenging one when it comes to likeliness. probably noticed, uh, I mean definitely noticed, I'm painting all the people in just one uh, single color or hue at least. What you might not have noticed is that I painted the background, so the solid colors in the back, a complementary color to the opposite side of the cube. So this background is yellow and the opposing background is purple. The 
portraits themselves I am then painting in the complementary color to the background of that side of the cube so in this case it's green on top of like a reddish color it was supposed to be more pinkish but um, oh well I think it still does the job doing this with the complementary colors is saving me from painting all the different hues and colors from the original image but it's still making it a bit more interesting than just a black and white image With this face, I made the silly mistake of placing the mouth on my, with my sketch right in one of the creases between the little uh, sections of the cube, which uh, made it a bit difficult uh, to paint. Before that, I think I'd done quite a good job of uh, placing everything on a flat plane, uh, all the important details of a face, and a mouth is quite an important detail, so I was kind of afraid I would mess this up um, because of that. But I think I, at this point, I found my footing enough with these type of small tiny paintings that I was able to still make this recognizable as the person who it is. to the very last side of the Rubik's Cube. With this painting, as with some of the other uh, paintings as well, it was harder to get an opaque color down onto the surface. Uh, I don't know exactly if it's a background color or if the paint I was using was just not that good. You just need a layer on top of layer on top of layer to get it down properly. Also, if you're wondering why I'm drawing crowns on all of them, um, yes it is also because I just am a fan and like them very much, but also because I made a quite stupid mistake in which I thought at first that if I put a crown on them and I twisted the cube, I could like interchange the crowns of all the people, but the cube does not quite work like that of course, but I just went with it anyway. And as I told you, I am going back to the third painting I did uh, and painting over the face once again because I was just not happy. I just couldn't let it rest as it was and yeah, redoing that. And here we are at the very last step of painting this Rubik's Cube and that is to add another layer of protective seal over it to just seal off all the paint, uh, make it water resistant and uh, just time resistant, finishing off the process. And so there's not much left to do now other than to show you the final shots of this uh, wonderful Rubik's Cube that I painted. Let me just quickly ask you to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see me do more of this sort of stuff. It really was a lot of fun painting these small paintings. Uh, a lot more fun than I expected actually. And I think I was actually kind of better at it than I expected as well. So I'd definitely be down to making uh, tiny acrylic paintings again, maybe on a different surface. Also subscribe to this channel if you have not already and leave a comment if you recognize any of the rappers that I painted. I know it's not that difficult if you're into hip-hop to uh, recognize them but for a lot of people who might not be that much into it they probably only recognize Kendrick Lamar to be honest. With that here's the reveal.
right, there they are, those lovely shots. And now that we've got that out of the way, let me tell you a bit of an embarrassing story that happened after I shot this lovely shot. As you can see, I scrambled up the Rubik's Cube to make it look cool for the final shots and that, thinking that if I looked back at the footage of me scrambling it up, I could uh, reconstruct it. Basically, I spent the best part of two days trying to uh, learn how to yeah, essentially do a Rubik's Cube, which is quite funny because in the beginning of the video, of course, I said that uh, I was only painting the Rubik's Cube because I couldn't actually uh, solve it myself. And now I actually know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But with this Rubik's Cube, of course, that's not quite enough because it also has pictures on it. Not only do the sides have to be the same color, but also the same orientation. So what happened to me quite a couple of times is that I actually solved the Rubik's Cube maybe uh, five or six times, but one or two of the faces was always scrambled up. So I tried and tried and tried again, and at some point I finally... <laughs> No, I still didn't manage to get it right. <laughs> the thing that finally helped me in the end, there is a, a video on exactly how to uh, twist the middle piece uh, in a picture cube for it to make sense. There you go, I educated myself on Rubik's Cubes a bit in this video, which was not something I planned doing. And with that, I've gone on long enough. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, again, leave a like. You can subscribe to my channel right here, find a video you might like create, and the whole playlist on other videos where I paint on things right there. And with that, I'm just gonna hang around here until you click on something, and I hope to see you in the next video. Right, bye.